Jose, just back. Uh, I do think the heat is going to be a factor. I just don't. I think these uh, two coaches are, you know, head coaches are sort of playing that off as a non-factor. But it's hot. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, these, you can look at the players. That they're not. Their feet aren't dragging right now. But 20 minutes into it, yeah. You know, there's, there's rumors. It's going to be not rumors, but obviously 105 degrees, 100 degrees, and you know, not ideal. Um, we got a lot of players from. You know. Let's be honest, Jean Antoine from, from Haiti, you know, is probably not going to be, you know, I don't want to say as good, but just as comfortable, you know, or is he? I don't know. No, and then, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, just, I mean, it's to me, it's already feeling like it's ooh, a bit muggy. and Yeah, and no, and head coach, you know, Underwood could go ahead and just say, you know, the, the heat heat they're, they're used to over there in the yeah. east coast but the, humi the the heat over there on that side is completely different to the desert heat on on this part right, of, right. Of, of the country right so it's going to play a factor i mean the thing that benefits both these teams is obviously they're playing a natural grass so yeah. they're not going to feed it as much on 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 their cleats but yeah. it's going to play a factor and luckily for them it's 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 in the later part of the afternoon uh, where it's starting to cool down you feel a, a somewhat of a breeze but like i said these two are the top teams in in the league so i'm expecting them to go ahead and, and Bring the fire out here tonight. Just want to let you know. I just got a text saying no. Jean Antoine from Haiti would probably be okay in this is in this heat. Um, but looking at the starting lineup, he is starting today. With defense in front of him: Boas, Garcia Lopez, Hogbin, Laborio, and Salguero. We know these players very very well. Yeah. In the midfield, uh, Al Alvarenga, uh, Garcia Sosa, and Shinya Cardono. And up front, Alex and Omar Nuno. So this is something that we have been we've been seeing. Uh, we've seen this lineup a lot. Uh, on the Chattanooga side, we've got Kevin Gonzalez in goal. In front of him, Dixon, Martinez, Ward, Cerro, and McGrath. In the midfield, Robertson, Rodriguez, and Stripling. Uh, up front, two-man uh, two man forward with Taylor Gray and Nagelstad. So something to think about. Um, and uh, good on that person who just texted me about the heat in Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> and Jean-Antoine knows I'm a big fan of his. So, uh, again... Uh, we'll see what's going on today. Both these uh, players, uh, both goalkeepers, should very well, um, should very well, sort of guard themselves against the heat. I mean, standing, you sort of, the sun is just absolutely just, just, just I don't even know what to call it. It's just very. But we're going to stop talking about the heat and go straight to the football. You can see that both these teams are sort of final, final, sort of words on the pitch. Uh, the, the uh, player in the middle, Steve Skilly, in, we're waiting for him to start the match. Obviously, we Cal United in all black and traveling sky blue for Chattanooga. And I'm kind of wondering what sort of... Uh, what sort of a reception Chattanooga will get. Uh, got a few of their traveling fans. You can see them waving a gigantic flag over there. Just to the left of your screen, waiting on Mr. Skilly. Going to say that uh, Trevor Wiseman, Alexander Netrachuk, and Leah Jacobson are the officials. And here we go, folks, here in beautiful Southern California. Quick start. Easy pickings for Chattanooga and Gonzalez in goal. He's going to absolutely, just as I s expected, not rush to a start there. <laughs> it's it's going to be, you know, nice passes. I'm hearing a whistle, but nothing. Yeah, it's nothing in the stands. Heard it earlier, stand, too. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't affect the, ga the it's game. Well, it's already affected me, Jose. I can tell you <laughs> that right now. So, we'll see how that goes. Beautiful, beautiful day here. I couldn't think of a better place to be on a Sunday, to be honest with you. Uh, Championship Stadium is one of my favorite places, um, soccer-wise. In, in, I, I like to say just in Southern California, but most of California. Um, just fantastic grass. Had a chance to walk up on the pitch. And here's good movement right now from Cal United. Going back to the first side of the pitch, down the middle right now, and going now to the flanks. Cal United in firm control. Nice little cross in there. Don't know if that was a cross or a attempt on goal, Jose, but... 
go kick. And I think the whistles <laughs> that we were hearing, you know, initially thought it's coming from from the stands, but they're from the outside field. There are a oh. bunch of soccer games Can going we go on. Go there and tell them. On, <laughs> on, on, on <laughs> simultaneously as this one, but it, it adds on to what you mentioned about the the the, the value of this park, right? I think Fantastic. The, the stadium's amazing, but the park overall, what it brings is f soccer fields outside. You can feel it as you're driving in. Such a huge community, soccer yeah. community here, and I, I invite it. everyone to come out and just see if you're a soccer fan. You know, you can come and just watch a fantastic match. This right now, it's a foul. Uh, see what's going on over here. And a healthy crowd tonight. Today, very I good. Very good. The, yeah. the heat. The the heat is uh, is obviously you know you still get reservations, uh, but you know they're coming out, which is great. Right now we have Laborio and Garcia Sosa standing over the ball. It's a two-man wall right now. A lot of a uh, lot of bodies in the box. I'm thinking it's Laborio going to do it. He's going to go ahead and take that shot. Uh, might find a pocket right behind the goal. Oh, Oof. a little bit of a collision there as well. I should say right behind the last defender in the goal area, but easy, easy for Gonzalez right now. Chattanooga essentially foregoing the midfield. Head it down. Strictly, well, I shouldn't say that. It's actually good control right now by... Cal United and let's see now control from is squarely on the shoulders of Chattanooga here we go Ward has the ball let's do something with it Ward has it no one's really challenging him here we go Martinez now tries to get it tries to thread something passed back Jean-Antoine just goes ahead and just boots it out Again, foregoing the midfield, looking for Omar Nuno. Omar Nuno gets, he sort of skims his head. Goalkeeper way out, passes to Martinez. Martinez tries to get past his mark, does a very good job now. Cal United doing very, very well. Again, these long balls, sort of reminiscent of, you know, my favorite kind of, of football back in the 70s, the sort of the long ball game, which I absolutely love. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And here we go, folks. Martinez again with the ball. Looking to his captain to his right, doesn't, says goes down sort of the center of the park. Here we go, he's holding onto the ball. No one's really challenging him. Very good so far by the Sky Blues. There's that little challenge right there, and a little miss foot, a misstep, and players down. That's Nagelstad, and obviously, it's going to be fun to see him and. That, that battle of forwards between him and Nuno out there. Absolutely. So top scorers in the league. In fact, uh, Nino Stavard has 14 goals, which leads the league. So it's going to be, be a fun one out there and, and to see these two out there. Definitely these, these teams can score, and they're very stingy also defensively. So we'll see who we, you know, which part of the field is the winning part of the field. Defenders or um, mm -hmm. forwards. Wanted to say strikers, but people would get confused. I'm saying, you know, <laughs> carry on <your> strikers. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Back to Ward. Ward's looking backwards. Okay, fine. Martinez now has the ball. He's going to go and try to that, find that space. Back to Ward. Slide tackle. And a throw in for Chattanooga. Chattanooga now, again, just sort of taking their time. Very well done over here. So far, so good. Great ball. Not, not out of danger yet, and so far, yeah, so good. So far, so good. John Antoine's screaming at someone. I'm not sure who it was. I just have just realized how, just how big and tall. Uh, Taylor Gray is as a forward and it's certainly you know up there you know yeah. with like, Omar Nuno you know, Omar Nuno is a big fellow isn't he this is just two big forwards target strikers here look at this so far so good he takes the shot and That's there's the goal what just happened and certainly certainly definitely Cerro can celebrate yeah, and he's going to celebrate with the Chattanooga faithful in the corner. 
here, but it appears to be a mistake in the back line for Cal United. And it was just about mentioned that about five minutes in, mistakes in the back. We look at the uh, at the replay here that causes the United. Yeah. Just not the best of clearance there. And, and just you know, Sarah was just comes and, and just nice defenders strike. ball watching at this point. You know, and it's with, I mean, uh, that's so uncharacteristic of Cal United, who've been very stingy with, with, with letting goals in, and that is just shocking. Right before that, uh, that goal went in, you just mentioned, right? You're hearing Gene Antoine just being very vocal out here, not exactly what he was, but he must have seen something, calling it out, and unfortunate for for Cal United, it ends up being a one nothing lead for Chattanooga early in the game. Early, seven minutes into it, and this now you can see the pace has gone up considerably. Uh, here comes, well, uh, I don't know to tell you, here comes, you know, Ward has the ball, he's going to get it back to, to Martinez, Martinez is going to look, he's probably going to go back to Ward, but no, it tends to go into space, bags of it, no one's sort of challenging it, he's going to go backwards, a lot of space right now on the right hand side of the pitch, so far so good, that was Tate on that side, he gets it to his teammate, Tate now has to sort of jockey back, and here comes Cal United with the attack. Absolutely trying to get smothered right now, but it's, it's just not happening. And again, tries to get to Omar Nuno. Good defending right now by Chattanooga. You can see just how the pace has just gone up a little bit and just a quick touch out, excuse me, out to touch. And uh, it's just Cal United is just trying to sort of calm down at this point. That was just shocking. I mean, I think they're still yeah. shocked. And right? they have to go ahead and, and keep their, their composure, right? Because so then... It could be uh, a game where, where if they do lose their composure, it could be down two or three goals early in, in, in the first half. Again, have, have we actually seen that this season? I don't think yeah, so. No. But, I mean, it can happen because this is such an early sort of strike on goal. And, you know, you know Cal United's heads aren't down, right? No. So that's, again, you know, when you shock the commentators, it's, it's, it is. <laughs> You're taking it back a little bit. So far, though, I mean... Shouldn't be any sort of cause for panic. Nice. But these are the kind of games that make great teams, right? They're, the adversity they they have to face if they haven't done so throughout the whole season. Yeah. Doing so now against the best team and turning that, uh, it'll, it'll be a go ahead and, and a great game for them. They like, do. I, I absolutely. You, you, you said that absolutely the right way, Jose. This is a test. You know, you you get tested when you play the best teams, right? So, what does Cal United do right now? So far, so good. Tate now has the ball. He's going to get it to his teammates. Nice little, tries to thread the needle, tries to go through it. Look at that. There's a little bit of a gap here. You see players running forward. Didn't quite control it. Still in possession, though. Here comes Chattanooga. It's surely going to be a cross here. He's trying to get... No, keeps it away. No, it's out of touch. No, I'm, I'm, there's three different whistles, but we're back to action. And that seems like a foul. Referee's not having any of it. Back to Jean-Antoine. Bit of a dangerous move, in my opinion, but here we go. Ch just just kicked away Chattanooga now has control so far so good Chattanooga making Cal United chase the ball here's Martinez again he's doing very very well back to his teammate look at that look at that oh. cross well done he chests it down offside no again no, it is offside. No, corner. no, no. Flag corner. stayed down. So it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a whistle yeah. from behind me, and right, so right. I'm kind of wondering are those whistles from behind us actually penetrating the pitch as well. Maybe they can. I hope not. It, look, it doesn't look like it's like it is. But okay, so I'm going to be a bit confused moving forward. But that's fine. That's the nature of uh, you know. This great uh, part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, what a ball. That was great, wasn't it? Yeah, and the just way he chest it down. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. That's what we love about it. And here we go, folks. Corner kick for Chattanooga. A lot of bodies in that area right there. Jean Antoine's trying to move players around, pushing them. Look. Oh, short one. Back again. And here we go. Oh. Very well done so far. Not out of danger yet. It's going to be a throw in for Chattanooga. They're going to, you know, choose to do it quickly. Martinez has the ball. He's got it back. Wants to get it to his captain. He does. Captain gives it back to him. Cerro wants the ball. Cerro wants the ball. Oh, look at that space he's found. Fantastic. Surely a shot. Oh. 
Very well done. That was McGrath. Now it's got he's got, he got his teammate in there. Oh, oh look at that! <laughs> Nagelstadt just right place at the right time gets a perfect pass nothing really Jean-Antoine could have done about it defenders again for Cal United just starstruck or struck I'm not even sure what to say look look they're and they're coming up they're huddling together no. but as we look at the replay what a complete play and, and a team play overall by uh, the Chattanooga uh, uh, team FC so it was a it was a great overall team play great goal and like I mentioned a couple minutes ago it's important for our United uh, players to go ahead and keep their head in the game do not lose in frustration because like I said it could easily be two or three goals early in the half and, and they're already a two yeah. or two nothing down and what the you out there the viewers missed during the when we showed the replay was Jean Antoine you know essentially telling everyone to huddle then they huddled together and there was some sort of a chinwag, some sort of a meeting there, you know. And when they dispersed, I guess new orders were given by Jean, Jean Antoine. And so this is an uphill battle right now, but they're not giving up. Here comes Cal United trying to get the ball into the into someone wearing a black shirt for their efforts to get a corner kick. I have never been shocked so many times in a row so quickly when it comes to these goals. And, and it's so uncharacteristic of Cal United to let them in like that. And Eaglestad has 15 now in the season. Wow. And he went and go celebrate that with Damian Rodriguez, who had the assist. But most importantly, it was mostly his goal, the whole play. And here we go. He did the hard work there, Damian Rodriguez. Did the whole individual play down the line and crossed it. All Eaglestad had to do is swing that Just foot and in, yeah. tap it in. Johnny on the spot right there, right before who we have now. And I think Dallas, you just to take it out the side netting didn't quite go in, but the, uh, we're shocked, huh? Um, yeah, but I think I one, mean, one uh, so people who are not shocked are the eleven on the field for Chattanooga. <laughs> I think this is just they've really been practicing. Yeah, this they? is yeah. as usual for them to go yeah. ahead and do this kind of stuff. And like I mentioned for for Cal United, is how do you get out of here and, and, and defeat well, that adversary? Ev as every second goes by, it's it's harder yeah. and harder. You I mean that the hole is being dug right now? So here we were talking about uh, Negro Stab. He just passes the ball straight. Oof. Look at that. It's four defenders. It's one. Oh, and just Cal United hold fast, out muscle Chattanooga, and uh, look at that. Back to action so quickly. Look at that. Chattanooga now have the ball. They've got possession. This is a new choice. It's fun. This is so fun, yeah. Very. Dixon on the furthest part of the pitch just doing great work over there. Everyone's putting a shift in right now. It's only, you know, 15th minute at this point. Cero again gets it to his teammate look at that good movement so far Cero wants it back he's going to get it back no so far so good captain has it oh just not on the same page and that's a rare thing right now after 15 minutes Sean Antoine just so vocal at his team right now. So, and he needs to be at this point, doesn't he, Jose? Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're 15 minutes in, and we're taking a look at a, a, a different Cal United team, a flat-footed Cal United team. Just seems like they haven't gotten into sync and rhythm of the actual game. Uh, and Chattanooga's playing at a different speed. So they have to go ahead and, and snap out of it. And all they could do is just by, by playing collectively as a team, is to go ahead and snap out of that. And... and Chattanooga playing so high up the pitch, you know what I mean? Like just so just pressuring every sort of ball. Look at this. And uh, it's just such a difference between, let's say, Albion that we, we saw last night that was just sort of content to lay back a little bit. Right. So, again, I mean, the, the, the differences in, in teams in this league is amazing. And uh, the nuances are just, you know, just sort of fabulous to watch. Now we're on Chattanooga side of the pitch. As soon as I say that, it goes back. But here we go, in control are Cal United. Cal United now moving the ball very gingerly. And here we go, a little bit of space to go forward. Looking for Omar, takes the shots and wow! Omar just leaves it for his teammate and as there you have it. Shows how deadly they can be. Needed to go back into the back of the net, but uh, oh, well, Gonzalez had it covered. Intense stuff. Yeah, but more of that, right? As a forward, if you're, you're not having it uh, go your way throughout the whole game, just 
try to go ahead and get a feel with it, get like a couple a boot, shots. Yeah. yeah, take a boot in it. Who never knows? Uh, a bad jump or touch could go ahead and end the back of the back of the net. But for this Cal United team, it's evidence that you know not having uh, Tony Lopez in that midfielder, it, it's, I think it's that, affecting them here I today. I think that is a, a, a very valid point, Jose. Lopez can change things. Here we go. Here's Chattanooga. Look at that long ball. Just absolutely bypasses the midfield. All they have to do now is take control of that ball. Very well done Oof. by the defenders and, and just shows a lot of skill there. And they need to. The last two goals were, I think, definitely, definitely defensive errors um, and bad ones if I must sort of put my opinion on it. So... Defenders for Cal United have to sort of up their game now. And with every tackle, their the confidence will grow. And here we go. In control right now, Cal United. Hogwin to Look at that. Look at that pressure. Hogwin just didn't see the, the, you know, the Chattanooga player just come. F Fantastic. It's surprising for a veteran player like Hogwin yeah. to go ahead and, and have that. But... Just made having off a uh, off day today. Mm, you know, I think that that dressing room in halftime is going to be amazing, and I wish I was there. But here's a good ball into the area, intercepted by Chattanooga. The Sky Blues are doing so well right now. Look at that little flick into the air. Oh, bouncing around. Oof. Oh, that was a you know corner. Yeah, but it's all Omar Nuno there. We badly try to get to gets the ball back, pokes it in front of his teammate. But and doesn't then, ha he doesn't ha but he doesn't he have to do that? Yeah. You know what I mean, he's got to do it. His team is two 0 down right now, 18th, going on 19th minute, and at the end of the day, he needs to put a few in the back of the net just to break even. So, again, w corner kick. Look, it's going to be a nice run towards the goal right now. There it is. Certainly going to happen. Punches it away, Gonzalez does, and that's great. But it's go straight to a shirt that's all black, and the men in black just. Take a, a little bit of a respite right now. It's going to be a throw-in. And i got to tell you, we were talking about the heat. It's got to be a factor. I mean, I've, it's got to be. Nice little movement right now. Booted away. Boyer says, I got it. Gets back to Jean-Antoine. Jean-Antoine looks to his left. He's, there you go. Bags of space right now. Negostad doesn't want to go ahead and commit to doing any sort of pressure. In the middle part of the pitch right now, looking for some... Oh, switches it. Garcia Lopez now with the ball. Back to his captain. Hogwin now. It's always, it's always all Hogwin to Boas and then... Some, someone up front, and there's that little through ball they're looking for. Can they control it? They do. Look, double teamed. A lot of pressure going on on this side of the pitch right now, but Cal United in control. They don't want to lose it. Good possession. Garcia Lopez just all on his, just on his own on this side of the pitch. Easily could be passed to, and then could make a break for it. Instead, they go towards Omar Nuno, who just mistimed it. Had to put his foot down a little bit a little bit more quickly to control it than he, we've seen him turn around and score those so Gonzalez now with the ball for, for Chattanooga better stuff from Cal United at least in the last two minutes I it agree. seems like they're yeah. they're finding themselves and, and they need to now. yeah Gonzalez with a long kick he needs to get control right now that was Ward backed now the Sky Blue are definitely definitely trying to make something of it 3-0 would be you know, so the death nail, so to speak, or the final nail in the coffin, but Cal United are going to have a, their say in that. Oh, look oh. at that. Hits the side netting. Corner. Corner kick again. That's uh, that's a good number of corners right now for Cal United. They have to go ahead and do something with it. There's two balls on the pitch right now. Going to have to take it over again. Referee saw that. We've got five whistles behind us and two balls on the pitch. I think we can uh, start a new... Uh, Start a new sport, Jose. Yeah, and a, <laughs> a couple of drums on the on, on the we'll, stands we'll, too. We'll, we'll yeah. take that. We'll take that. Uh, uh, the crowd is a little bit. Uh, it's gone down from a dull roar to a, a very soft crowd right now. Mm. So, um, looking down for something to, know to happen. Do that to you, huh? Yes, yeah, true. Look at this. 
great opportunity for Cal United. Defense for Chattanooga doing very, very well. We saw Gray come back and do defensive duties. And so he should. He's a tall, he's a big, he's a big player. Yeah. The kind of player you want on your, you know. And I'm sure that people can say, well, no, he's, he's very skilled as well. But I, we understand. We understand. But uh, skilled, but absolutely tall, doing defensive duties, double duties. And here we go. Cal United now. Nice little slide tackle. Look at that. Oof. I heard that from over here. Control right now to Chattanooga. Intercepted. And the men in black now have the ball. They've got to keep control. So far, so good. Collision with the player? No. Just miscommunications. And yes, they would be mad. And they are mad. And here we go. Chattanooga now with the ball. Nagel Stad gets it to his teammate. Slide tackle to control. Not quite. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Bags with space. So far, so good. Ward gives it to his teammate. No one's really trying to pressure anyone. And here comes Gray. A little bit of a mistake here. Bags of respect for any time the Sky Blue have the ball. Jean Antoine just holding it for a split second, knowing full well. He's trying to draw players towards him, then boot it out. Here comes Omar Nuno. Oh, not quite on the same page with Sip. Garcia Sosa and, and yet. Yeah, referee's foul calling a him. foul, yeah. Interesting 23rd minute, so, you know, so far. Um, Martinez, is Martinez going to take this? Oh, my name stands in front. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Crosses the path. So you're not going long ball yeah. here. Ward. Oh, just. They're not on the same page, but, you know, again, when you're 2 nil up, just didn't take a look at Gray quick enough. Didn't make eye contact quick enough, but Cal United do now have the ball. Cal United now content to hold it a little bit on their side of the pitch. Crosses the halfway point right now. Nice long ball. Needs a little bit of control. If it doesn't, it's going to go out. No, it does very, very well. No one in the area, so they're going to have to go ahead and pass the ball around a bit. Cal United now looking for anyone in space. Look at this. Certainly a shot. Oh. Defensively very well done by Chattanooga to, to not allow the player to tee it up and actually attempt to, sc to score a goal, which is okay. But the foul has been drawn, Jose. What do you think? Yeah, great stuff from Liborio. Just uh, the, the cut here, bam, takes away a defender, and yeah, it's a foul. And uh, referee let, uh, let the play go on, but as soon as he saw it, it was an uh, opportunity that, then, that went nowhere for Cal United. He blows a whistle, free kick, and great stuff from Liborio. Salguero oh, looking at the ball. Could, it, could he be doing that, Salguero? Okay. Referee's controlling the wall. Cal United now with an opportunity to score a goal. And there you have it. No. Got under no, it. No. No. Couldn't quite bend it down, could he? But. Yeah, and he, he steps away after that one, just heads down. Yeah. Don't really like the body language that I'm seeing right now from, from Omar Nuno and some of the, the the Kyle United players. But I think this might uh, be beneficiary for them as you see them take that, that break. That little water uh, break. So it might be something that they might go ahead and, and, and chat about. It's, I don't think it's going to be a chat. I think it's going to be a full-on argument somewhere down there, you know, in that, in that huddle. It's going to be a lot of raised voices at this point. Um, as we see here. Let me see. Coach Ebert, yeah. Yeah, look. Look. He is not happy, and I, I can't blame him, to be honest with you. Yeah. I can't blame him. Look, he's telling everyone, like, what's going on over there? He's, look, the notes are out. I was like, what do you want me to, look. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, and if we, we talked about it earlier, right? If the heat's going to be an issue, it's going to yeah. be a factor. And if it's affecting one of the teams, it looks like it's affecting, obviously, Cal United. Yeah, team, well, right? who should be, who should be kind of used to it. Right. Uh, but, I mean, 
like all of us here in Southern California, right? I think we all say we're, we're sort of used to this heat, but when it comes when, at you that, like yeah. the way it did this week, uh, you can never really be, be, be used to it or prepare for it. But either way, the, this is something that it's affecting both teams. So uh, it's not that it's affecting one more than the other. It's affecting both of them as equally. Yeah. And it's something that, that Chattanooga has put behind them. And, and it shows throughout this game. They're up to nothing with 25 minutes into the first half. This this water break is gonna do some. It's gonna do some help. You know, makes you know, make it. They're gonna have a chat. They're still chatting. They're still huddling. You know, got a little bit of a huddle right now. And you know, who? I mean, to to be a fly on the wall in that sort of huddle. Well, there's no wall in the huddle, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and you can see the replay right now of the goal. Um, but they've got to be talking about like just shoring up that defense, getting the ball quicker. You know, through the midfield to to Omar up front. And then someone, you know, essentially pulling the trigger and scoring a couple of goals very quickly. Right now, you know, we know these these players have the skill, but you know, again, time is kind of ticking. Yeah, it's early, but you know, we know you, that. Wait, but you think it's early, but it's two it's two nil early. It, I think two zero. It's just the worst score you could have as as oh, a team, you, right? You're going for the two. Yeah, you're going I, for am. Two nil. I am. I am. I'm going to go with the with the whole. You so, know. So I'll, I'll counter that. I'll say. You, you, so I'm th so if you know, for our audience, you know, you yeah. two nil is a very dangerous scoreline because we've seen play we've seen teams go from two nil up to like three two lose right. three or two, two right. or two two or yes. Yep. So to our, to which I will counter Jose. Would you rather be two nil up or two nil down? No, two nil up, <laughs> okay. absolutely right. Okay. But what we're seeing from this Cal United team, the reaction they've had in the last couple of minutes in this Chattanooga yeah. team, not the same that the way they started. Yeah, it's just a matter of complacency, right, and comfort yeah. zone. Once you get comfortable in in a sense, protect maybe even the lead. They, what they should, what they need to do, and what we mentioned earlier was put this one away early. Yeah, put this one away early. We talked about it possibly being three zero, but now it seems that Cal United has completely woken up, and it's it's all open for them to go ahead and get one okay. back. Okay. Just right, get one, get that one back. Let's see what happens. Yeah. That's very good analysis on your part, Jose. I think the proof will be in the pudding for Cal United. Yeah. Again, if it, here we go. Look, good movement so far. Getting the ball in the in sort of into the mix. My question would be, if it's three nil now, is it over? Yeah, I think once it, at, at that point, it's it's going to be. Uh, uh, Definitely tough mission for for Cal United to go ahead and, and overcome, but it's all about just getting that one uh, now. But also being careful, right? You push too many numbers up, then yeah, yeah before you know it's yeah, doing no. Get exploited in the back right now. Chattanooga essentially moving forward. Sky blue right now, moving, pinching forward, and then going again. That was backwards. Gray in control. Look at that! Oof. Fantastic. Bags of space now. For Chattanooga, certainly. Oh, look at that. Very well done. Good pass. And jolly good defending by Hogman at this point, right? Yeah, but War should have done more. I think it's the second time we see him previously. There was a long ball. He chased it down. And he had almost like a 1v1 opportunity. I think he is a little too unselfish uh, by sending that through ball to zero. But either way, they get a corner. Yeah, corner, corner for their trouble. Too unselfish, I agree with. 2 nil up. Can you? Yeah, you, can you, can, you can be. You can be generous with your, you know, with your assists. Again, the shock value of those two goals are still sort of weighing heavy on me right now. Right now, we're going a short pass rather than a corner. And here we go. There's that cross we're looking for, and Oof. very well done. I love that kind of <sighs> uh, save. Yeah. comfort. You don't see those very often anymore. No, no. Just punch it out. You can. I mean. The way he glided I, in the air, I, too. I've told John Antoine to him, you know, when I've talked to him, like, I'm just a huge fan of him, you know, so it's always good to see him live. Um, but Cal United now on the other side of the pitch, trying to maintain possession, going through each defender. Certainly, I, I'm, just not, I'm just not going to call any whistles at this point. No, yeah. I'm hearing like 15 of them, but that's fine. You know, it makes it a little bit more interesting on, you know, here in the booth. And here's Gray with the ball. Bags of space. He's, he's oh, you know, overruns the ball. And here we go. More space for, there's a player to his left. They've got it. Ward now. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Gets it back to his teammate. So Cerro has the ball. Cerro tries to thread the needle. And there it is. Is a goal? No. Oof. Fantastic stuff by Nagelstad, who's just read that correctly and, 
Jean Antoine in the right place at that point. So fantastic. Here we go. End to end stuff and just miss kicked or overcooked. Couldn't quite start the counter attack there, Jose. And Zero with the great through ball here. He already has uh, a goal in, in, in the evening. Looking for an assist here. And like we mentioned earlier, 3 0, I think, ends up uh, being uh, the game. Booted into furthest part of the pitch. Someone's going to have to main co maintain control. They do. Chattanooga now do have it. Ward is open. He gets the ball. Look at that. Just absolutely great timing. Gray wants the ball. He gets it. He sees Ward to his left. There you go. Ward's running. Bags of space. He can penetrate the box. All he goes to do is get that cross in there. He gets the cross. And right place at the right time. Ward seems to be just Cardano, who's just doing gr defensive duty very, very well. Again, another corner, Jose, for <laughs> for Chattanooga. Yeah, another corner, but back on on Ward, it seems like he's he's taking a little too long to to make the pass, or just he's overthinking it at, at a certain point. But yeah. uh, luckily for Chattanooga, it's a corner. Back into the midfield, so to speak. Suddenly, one thought about taking the shot. Instead, trying to get it into the box. Not the best of ideas. Counter attack right now for Cal United. Good movement. Can he get past his mark? It's a slide tackle. They're asking for a foul. Referee says it's clean. Chattanooga now keeping control. Ward is open. Moves backwards. That's fine. Goes down the middle. Gray is uh, open. Left hand side of the pitch. Here we go. Good movement. There it is. Nagel. Stat to, to Gray. It's one on one right now. Cardano's looking at it. Doesn't want to go ahead and challenge. Nagel Stat now with the ball. Gray to his captain. Back to Gray. Down the middle. He's going to have to turn around and take a shot. He doesn't. Gets it back to Gray. Ward again. Plenty of space. Martinez with the ball. Tr look at that. Very well done. Ward now. Back to Gray. Gray thought about taking the shot. Says cuts it back. Here we go. Ward now. Kelly Knight just jockeying rather than trying to sort of get a tackle in there. Martinez gets it. All the way on the other side of the pitch right now. Tate just couldn't keep control. Relinquishes the ball to... Cal United, quick throw in. Cal United now have the ball. They're going backwards. It's going to end up at the feet of Jean Antoine. Jean Antoine has to boot it away. Everyone's saying that's a foul. It isn't. Captain now has the ball. Martinez now. Looks to his right. Chooses to go to his right. Back to Tate. Back again. Chattanooga captain gets it back to Martinez. Martinez happy to send it back to Gonzalez. Omar Nunez is trying to do something with it. Gonzalez way off his line. He's got to, he's got to run back. Garcia Lopez to Nuno. Hogwe now has the ball. He's moved all the way up. There's one center back just guarding the line, just hugging the line. And here's a little bit of penetration going through. There's a shot. No. Just slices it to his right. No problem for Gonzalez. That was a lot of work and a lot of effort for a bit of a fizzle in the, at the end, wasn't it, Jose? Yeah, and it was a, a, a shot that after what, about five minutes, we hadn't seen uh, Kyle United. I mean, we saw kind of have a spark. It seemed that they were kind of just being up there, pushing up pressure, but... Ever since a couple of minutes ago, it seems like they, that, that spark kind of has to, uh, sparked off. But uh, all you got to do is get back in it, is get a shot like that. And, I mean, and just how about get getting, in. getting the ball straight? What would you think? Getting the ball straight to Omar. For getting, just bypassing the midfield, getting it straight to Omar. Look, and then having him just take a couple of shots on goal. Yeah. A few of those are going to definitely go ahead, go ahead and sting the gloves of the goalkeeper. Now we have Cal United now have the ball on their side of the pitch. It looks like Chattanooga very 
happy to chase and sort of wait for a mistake. That was close to one, and there it goes. There it is. Gray now has lots of space. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Got a player to his right. He does that. Certainly something's going to happen there. Nagels was going to go take a shot. Gives it. Sorry. That should have been a shot. Wow. On roll. And instead it was a pass to McGrath. No worries so far. It's Chattanooga will say, well, we're two nil up. We have control, you know, we're maintaining control, maintaining possession. But that was. We'll see if this yeah. is going to be huge or not. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. In control right now. In the box. Something's happening. There's a shot, certainly. Very well done defensively for Cal United. And I have to say, I was a bit nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was a Cal United fan, that, that would have been another goal. And those misses, those are the goals that don't come back. Yeah. Well, you know, I wanted to say that, I would, you know, the defense right now for Cal United has been suspect, but I probably get a lot of emails and some, a lot of tweets about that you know, because they've been doing a, a, a perfectly decent job past 10, 15 minutes. It's the, it's the times where they gave up that goal, which was, you know, a bit distressing. And giveaways and mistakes, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, the giveaways, you know, you sort of you, you chalk that up to, like, the other team is a bit speedier, right? You say, well, you know, they they were, you know, they were off their mark a little bit speedier than we were, but those sort of very uncharacteristic mistakes in the back. So right now we got Chattanooga. They're in control. That was a throw in, and it's sort of trying to stop the attack. But no, oh, that was that a was whistle. our whistle. <laughs> yeah, that was our whistle. <laughs> in this game, huh? You can see some of these players. They can really. They are feeling the heat. I'm sorry, you can't bypass this. You know. Back to Jean Antoine. He's going to look to his right. Goes to his left. Control right now with Cal United. They're on their side of the pitch. They have to move forward. And here we go. You can see that run. Now Amon Nunez is making the run inside. Now he's going into the middle. He wants that ball. Certainly a shot now. Come on, Omar. There it is. And yeah. there's the goal. Yeah. There it is for Omar Nuno. Wow. And we were just talking about it here. You give yeah. up an opportunity to make it 3-0. Now it's 2-1. Yeah. Is the ghost of the 2-0 going to yeah. make an appearance yeah. here? No, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm an iconoclast, Jose. I'm an iconoclast. So we'll see what happens. But I like what's going on here. You can see the replay. What a goal. Fantastic. That's what we That's what we know uh, Omar. That's how we know him. That's how. That's his... That's his, that's his sort of uh, bread and butter at this point, right? Yeah, and Cadono. So keeping his team in the game and, uh, you know, if, I won't say if, but if Cal United come back, bounce back, I think everyone should be buying Omar, you know, a nice steak dinner for that one. That was just a sweet goal as well. Just yeah. on its own. 11th goal of the year ties uh, Lopez with the most goals uh, in the team in the so team. far yeah. this season. Fantastic. So one more and he goes and takes the, the lead overall. But amazing stuff. But I, I got to give a shout out to Kudono and just the, the touch that he puts to him, right? And Omar does other stuff, carries it over to his left, finds a pocket in the corner uh, opposite of the goalkeeper and makes it 2-1. Yeah. Now, now it's a game. I don't, and uh, can I say that it kind of looked really easy for him? Yeah. It he really made, he made it look. He makes it yeah. look easy, huh? We're going to go on this side of the pitch now, and the defense doing a much better job now. And here we go. It's it's one on two. Nice layup over here, and, and just... Oof. And you got to give props right there to Cadono, who, after doing all the hard work a few moments ago, could have squared it up 2-2, but control right now with Cal United in the box. Certainly a shot in there! Oh! Oof. Could have sworn, could have bet the mortgage that, that would have gone in. Yeah, that goes, it goes in. I mean, I think all of us have to go ahead and take our Nuno out for <laughs> dinner after that one because the angle was so difficult for, yeah. for Nuno. But just the fact that he made it uh, 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 an actual shot that has opportunity to go in, it just shows his, his, his class. Very good. Very good stuff. So shock at the beginning of the, uh, uh, of the, of the first half and something that we sort of expect Omar Nuno to do, delight, delight the audience in the closing stages of the, of the, of the first half. Garcia Lopez now with the ball, gets it to his teammate. Right now it's trying to get it to, there you go, you can just see how Omar Nuno just tries to do something. There, something's happening right now. There's a shot, bounces off 
a sky blue defender. Oh, expecting a an own goal on that one, weren't you? Yeah, but <laughs> Garcia Lopez, right? I think that's I've been and heading the net and yesterday's game too. Those yeah. balls on the ground yeah. with with a lot of power, venom. Uh, it could find uh, either your teammate's foot or an opposing teammate's foot. You just know, look matter. at just look at Cal United right now. Just, yeah. just they got like just a sense of urgency. Yeah, just like you know. Well, Omar Nuno won't be hungry if they buy him, if he scores another goal and they buy him more steak dinners, you know. But this is they do look hungry. You're absolutely yeah. right, Jose. So right now we've got a we've got a corner kick. Garcia Sosa over it. Oh, let's go, Garcia Sosa. Oh, that really should have been Omar Nuno. Another corner. But it's, an, it's another corner, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait till that actually happens because these whistles. <laughs> I go to another corner. And here we go. Maybe a second bite of the cherry. A little bit of slight breeze. Here we go. Ooh. Goes behind. I'll let the goalie have go. Might have yeah. tipped it with goal kicks yeah. as the referee. No VAR in, in Nisa. Mm -mm. And, and not from this week, you know, I don't think VAR is getting many, many uh, fans from this week around the world. Yeah. They? So... The barbarians are at the gate, so to speak, when it comes to VAR. But we've talked we, about we held them back a little bit. Old school, and you know, just yeah. the feel of how, how how this is what it is. You know? Yeah. And by the way, I mean, I've I've I'm a, I'm a firm believer that, that the referees really do a great job. Yeah. Ninety nine point nine nine percent of the time, and it's, it's only that little bit of time that where they just do a, something really weird, and you get to hear about it. And quality is there so i mean I, I haven't had any disagreements with any nisa co uh, nisa uh, referees ever i mean they do a wonderful job give them the power and they'll do it by the way that's my editorial on var but who knows what happened in the future here we go folks back to action oh just absolutely holds fast right now the men in black have the ball bags of space Oof. And is that another corner? No, it's a goal kick. And we're running out of time in the first half, but it's been great. Yeah. <laughs> Fun stuff. I just don't want it to end, do you? No, no. I mean, here we go. I think we might have a goal in the dying moments, but I should be so lucky. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, by the way. Oh, uh, here. Oh, look at that. Giving away. Come on, Omar. You can do this. Just tries to get it through it. Uh. Oh. I know volley would have been sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not the best angle for, for Nuno, but he, he gets a shot off, and uh, they're going to be hoping the, the half doesn't end this Cal United. Yeah. The thing about Omar Nuno is that he, like, every time he touches the ball and he scores a goal, he turns spectators into fans, doesn't he? Absolutely. It, 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 you become a fan of this player when you watch him. So, such an asset to the team. Oh, nice little shoulder barge right there, wasn't it? Very cool. Got about 30 plus seconds to go of official time. And Cal United, oh, oh Gray gets the ball now. Fortunate. And there's going to have to be a slide tackle. No, no, solid defending by Cal United. McGrath was content just to maintain possession by passing it back. Here we go. Keeps it in play. Absolutely content to, to wind the clock down a little bit. A couple of seconds to go. We haven't got word about how many minutes stoppage time there is. Don't think there'll be that many, Jose. Surely that was a handball. Seven on seven over there. <laughs> yeah, other than the time that it's wasted for, for the break. For the break, Nothing. yeah. About a minute. And here we go. And there's Omar Nuno. He's going to... Oof. Oof. Yeah, he's mad at himself, but he shouldn't be because that was that's something that I would expect him to do. Four minutes, okay. Jose. Four minutes. Were you expecting that? Yeah. No, actually, no. I was waiting party two, two. You know yeah. the most, but for Nuno, I think more power on on that one. Huh? Yeah, but here's Makes the thing: the kind of just. I think you were expecting power, of course, with Omar Nuno. It's like you know, gigantic sort of a tree trunk shot of a you know a, a attempt on goal, but just having that shot and sort of. 
I don't know, making that making Gonzalez sort of work for that for the final moments of the match. I think that's enough to put the fear in you know in a goalkeeper. You know what I mean? Yeah. After that goal, he scored too. Yeah, so. yeah, hundred percent. Is Martinez with the ball? Doesn't get to his mark, and here's Cadono with the ball. He's got it. He's going into space. Oh, Ooh. gets past a lovely footwork. Very intelligent soccer right now. Oh, a little bit of a nutmeg. Can't go through the, the last player, though. And it's just a matter of control. Everyone's, everyone in the crowd is like, that's obviously a foul. Referee says, no, I was right there. Control still firmly with Cal United. They're not content to walk out of here 2-1. They want to score a goal. That was aimed for Omar Nuno. Back to Hogbin right now. And he needs to get it straight down. There you go. He gets it to the one person that he knows can take a shot right now. Gets past his mark, gets past another. Just not a very good pass, but he's not known for those. He's known for scoring goals. And here comes Chattanooga FC. Gray now with the ball. Gray's looking to his, his left. Yes, so far so good. And here comes Gray again. A little bit of back and forth with his teammate. Oh, doesn't go forward, wants to go back. Fine. Here comes Ward. Ward goes back. They're going to try to tire out Cal United in the dying moments of this match. Maybe. Here we go. Here comes Gray. 22 on 22 right there. Look at that. Ward now. Back again. Oh, so just spread everyone out. Fair enough. Look at that. Cal United trying to close down. Martinez now. A little bit of trouble. Has to go back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, okay, can take a breather for about a split second. Back to Martinez. Martinez closed down by Omar, but not really. Here comes Gray. Sees that the player down. Look at that. Great Never stuff. giving up. Never giving up, are they? Garcia Lopez on the ground, makes the tackle. <laughs> yeah, he's hobbling, but he knew what he had to get the job done, which yeah. is not let the defender buy. And yeah. he did so on the floor. How, and many, other players, how many other players wow. was able to just... You know, just lied there and went, okay, you know, I'm on the ground. Right. Fantastic. Fan I mean, just what a wonderful game this is. And here we go, folks. few moments left here. I don't know, maybe 40 seconds. Cal United not giving up. We'll take every second of what's left of this half. Right now, though, it's a little bit of a danger. Back to Jean Antoine. It's going to go to his left, surely. He does. Well, straightforward, actually. Garcia Lopez down. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Didn't want to get that one, huh? And the referee, I hear that whistle, Jose. Calls time on the first half. Folks, Simon Allen here. Jose Duran, Championship Stadium. It's halftime, and what a match. Cal United 1, Chattanooga FC 2. Stay tuned. It's going to be even more thrilling. See you in about 15 minutes. And welcome back, folks. Simon Allen here, the Dalai Lama of Soccer. Next to me, Jose Lobo Duran, here in beautiful Irvine, California. Southern California hasn't been as nice. I can't remember a day that has been this nice, but it's, it is hot. And the scoreline does show it, folks. Cal United 1, Chattanooga FC 2. And again, I will repeat, Simon Allen here and Jose Duran. We're waiting for... We're waiting for Cal United strikers to come out. You see Chattanooga are out. They're just sort of probably playing a little bit of foot volley right there. I'm betting. I'm betting dollars to donuts that there's going to be a, there's a hairdryer treatment inside the locker room. Coach Ebert's really giving it to these players, saying, listen, this is what we need to do. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? No, absolutely. And <laughs> I think uh, after that, that mini water break where we kind of saw him going at them and, and yeah. you know, and, and, and leading his team, it, it kind of uh, turned a switch on 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 the Cal United players, right? And we saw Omar Nuno kind of just uh, open up that score line for them 2-1. They got really close to go ahead and, and, and tying things up towards the latter part of that, that first half. Yeah. But I'm expecting them to come with everything in the second half, right? This is, this is it. 
uh, uh, being down there again now, though, uh, that that temperature is a factor. You know, you, you feel it. You, you, you I mean, we feel, feel it. it. Yeah. We're not even moving around. Yeah. So this, and 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 there is, and even the breeze, it's like a, it's like an air fryer. It's just hot breeze just coming down, and you know these. It hits the, your, your sweaty jersey. It doesn't do it any do you any good. Um, and, and again, sometimes you need to be a bit forceful as a coach and just absolutely yell at players to sort of, for them to react. Um, not my style, but I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes you have to do it. It could happen. I mean, and I really think Jose that I'm waiting for the whistle here. That you know, Cali is not going to be happy with a two-two draw. No, you can't be, especially that se- that type of season they've been having. Yeah. But like you mentioned, in kind of just screaming and kind of getting in front of the players, they had to, right? I think the Cal United, the way they started, it was just like they were still in the locker room uh, once the the kickoff uh, got going, as you see here. And we got we got kickoff right now. Second half starting. Referee Steve Skilly now essentially t- getting the. The lads started, and here we go. Cal United now. So Tear Jung coming in for Alex, and Tear Jung is a fan favorite. We know he can score. He can come off the bench and score. Fantastic player, overall fan favorite. One of my favorite players, obviously, on the team. Um, and we're really on this side of the pitch right now. You can see Jean Antoine moving across. He's almost. You know, in the mid, in the midfield part of of the Cal United's half, Cal United now just sort of gingerly walking over to the ball, and it's a free kick. And what can I tell you? It has to get in there. It has to just get that ball in there. Laborio just needs to do that in the box, test the keeper, get an early goal. Here we go. Cal United over the ball, free kick. Bit of movement in the box. There it is. Something's happening. And can it go in? No. Just booted away by Chattanooga. Not. It's, it's it's in safety now, but control for Cal United. And here we go. A little bit of space here. Just sort of now the, the park is a little bit stretched out. Alvarenga get the ball to his teammates. And here we go. Salguero with the ball gets into the middle. Alvarenga now has a chance to go ahead and cross it. He does. Chattanooga step up, kick the ball away. Can't really control it, but out to safety at this point. So when in doubt, kick it out. I haven't seen that too much, but it does work. Tia Jung essentially coming on the pitch. He's just been a fantastic addition to this team since he first showed up. An absolute fan favorite. Won a gigantic trophy for his efforts just a few seasons back. And this is an easy one for Gonzalez. Can't say enough about certain players on this pitch and just how they're just sort of part of the, uh, you know, part of this club sort of psyche. And here we go, folks. As Tate gets it back to his teammate. Back to Gonzalez. Back to Martinez. Oof, <laughs> look at that. And that's the Jung trying to make something happen, right? I mean, that's what he's brought in to do. And here we go. Good movement so far. Gray has the ball, gets it to his teammate. Good movement. Sort of feels like the first half, you know, the first moments of the first half, Jose. Gonzalez with the ball. And look just how high up the pitch uh, uh, Cal United are playing right now. And look, just given away, and there's good stuff so far. Chattanooga FC now with a little bit of space here we go he's in the box surely a shot Oof. and look at that just puts his leg out and Salguero just you know <laughs> diverts the, the goal and it's a it's actually a corner kick for Chattanooga so far so good again a couple of minutes into the second half feels like the first couple of minutes of the first half doesn't it Jose yeah and it's a great stuff from from Damian Rodriguez here he already has an assist uh, tonight so he, he, he keeps on pushing, but thankfully for, for Cal United, it's like Guero gets there in the last minute, but it seems to the first minute or two, the Cal United kind of came with everything. They are applying pressure, but here comes Chattanooga. Short corner goes to McGrath. McGrath's asking for some sort of a 
was asking for a foul and a yeah. penalty and the referee's not going to call it. I mean, that was a, a bit soft on uh, Nagelstad's part, but Jean-Antoine gets it to his teammate, Sarah, excuse me, Garcia Sosa, I believe. A little bit of space here, not really. Here we go, there's the movement we're looking for. Nice bags of space, good speed, intelligent football so far from Cal United is, has to get past two Oof. sky blue shirts and something's going to happen here. He's going to have to turn it around. He does. There you go. Gets into the box. Certainly a cross happening right now. Two on one. Look at that. Just some good passing. Cadono now has the ball. Gets it to his teammate right now. And that's uh, Salguero holding it. Excellent movement right now. And that's, I think, maybe part of the speech that Coach Ebert said. Like, you know. Maintain possession. Maintain possession. Don't give it away too cheekily. And here we go. There's a shot! Deflected. And I gotta tell you, Alvarenga just, you know, with a mind to score a goal, and he certainly takes the shot for his efforts, is getting a corner kick for Cal United. Cal United now have to sort of regroup, get in the box. You can just see just a just a a, a big group of sky blue shirts in the middle of just guarding that, that goal. And <laughs> look at What's going on right now? Here you go. Quick corner. No, not a quick corner. Here we go. There's that corner. It's floating in. Headed away. There's a shot. And Oof. look at that. They are definitely trying to do something here, aren't they, Jose? Yeah, shot here. Gets a deflection on Hogbin. Uh, but uh, a great attempt here from Alvarenga. Uh, from for getting the corner and right now for getting that that shot off right yeah. i think the shot that we saw lead up to the corner it's one of those that that you want to see more of right because just like we saw it take a deflection you can might as well have taken a deflection towards the goal and, and for right now that's all you need for Kai united just as many opportunities as you can push for pushing forward and look for omar nuno and gonzalez seems to be slightly slightly hurt but he's up ready for that Goal kick. Crowd so, you know, so it's just not not barely a whisper in that crowd right now. Can you hear it? Or yeah. Can you not hear it? You can hear a pin drop. Even though they're in the in the shade, the, the fans, I think the heat's we, affecting them as well. You huh? should be so lucky, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and they have the uh, sort of those sprinkling, misting things out as well. So, again, we should be so lucky. <laughs> But we are lucky because we're here, here smack we dab in the middle of it. some great action right now. Chattanooga FC with control. Two center backs right now for Cal United. Getting the ball. Just Chattanooga wants to take that shot off. Deflected away. Booted away from Cal United. Looking for Omar. Omar Nuno tries to control it. He does. Here comes Theo Jung. Gets it straight back to Omar Nuno. It's one on one. If he waits a little longer now, it's, it's one on two, one on three. Gets past his players, doesn't, draws a foul, doesn't get, gets the foul. Late call. Well, he, referee Ooh. saw it, and it's very dangerous. So let's see what happens. Man, Martinez just hollering at the official. Not happy with that call. Should be careful with uh, with a possible yellow, but we saw We call. saw an American coach in, in the premiership get a, a red for, you know, talking, you know, yeah. a little bit of sass back to the, to the referee. So, you know. Here we go. Salguero over the ball. I think he wants it. Laborio as well. No, it might be Laborio. He's stepping back for that. Look for Omar Nuno in the box. Who is it going to be? It's Salguero. Floats it in. Doesn't. Sorry. Wall does the job. So far, so good. I mean, it's, it's just Alvarenga took the shot. It deflects off. And what are we? Are we seeing a? Was that an offside call? I'm not <laughs> sure. I've seen that the referee, the, the assistant referee, have picked up a, a flag for a throw-in, but the official says dead ball. Interesting. <laughs> Even the goalkeeper's having a few words. Okay. Yeah. Well, both the assistant referees. We're talking about uh, Trevor Wiseman, Alexander Netrachuk doing a good job so far. So we'll give him kudos to that and oh not the best of free kicks but here we go back to action folks here we go Cal United distributing the ball very very well a little bit of space here now 
gets past and takes the shot and so and I think that I think that's exactly what was said at, at half time don't you think I was like listen when you get close to the box take the shot and here we go Cal United firmly in control right now maintaining possession Boy is now essentially getting it to his teammate here we go in the box and that wasn't a shot but Alvarenga essentially saw his teammate making that run smart football Theo Jung gets the ball back to his teammate and here we go a little bit of space in the box takes a shot deflects over Gonzalez no problem he'll get that gets it quickly to his teammate and here we go Rodriguez gets it back oh look at this this is just beginning to be just sort of a a very sort of chess match like m match. Yeah, no, they're, <laughs> they're testing each other out, and I think uh, Chattanooga is trying to go ahead and just keep control of the pace of the game and and and, and the ball, right? So it's going to be a challenge, but but more, this, more of the opportunities like we saw from. But this uh, is a very dangerous, isn't it, Jose? Like you know, you want to maintain control. You don't want to move up the pitch. You, you're inviting. Cal United to do what, what's going on right now, which is essentially penetrate the, the, the box. And here's Cadona with the ball. Look at that. A little bit of space. And there's a shot. No. Oh. Just couldn't tee himself up. And that's what I was about to say. Like, look, you're, you're inviting that sort of trouble. And look, here's a quick counter. And we see Cal United with numbers in the back. So it's going to be a little bit, a little bit more difficult for Chattanooga. Good movement, though. Cal United steady and calm in the back, letting the, the ball actually being moved around by Chattanooga. They're quite content to see that happen. Ball goes into space, and look at that. Hogwin now has the ball. No rush to essentially boot it back. Jean Antoine gets the ball to his teammate. There's a little bit of a communication right now. They go forward. Instead, chooses to go in the middle of the park. Hogwin now has the ball. He's got it. And that's Deer Jung. Deer Jung has bags of space. He's not good, intelligent football by Theo Jung. Gets it to a player in space. And here we go. Saguero with the ball. Cadono now. He's, we've seen him go into the box very, very well. Saguero in the box. And oh, got it to the head of Omar Nuno. And when you just couldn't make that little flick with the neck to get it on target. It's going to be difficult, difficult to win anything in the air against these Chattanooga defenders, but they're they're trying, and they have about 34 minutes to go ahead and, and do something here. Well, how about this? How many attempts really to, you know, in the run of player have they had in the, in the past 10 minutes? About, what, four, five? Right. That's not, yeah. They're going to pepper the goal with attempts. They're certainly doing it. You know, I like to see teams sort of uh, go against other teams and try to make life difficult in in the areas of the park where it's easy for the, the other team, right? Oh. So defensive moves? Yeah, interesting. He ends up taking out uh, Lionel Varenga. And Gonzalo Salguero as well. So interesting to see and adding defenders. But I think Perez adds himself as a defender uh, left back, but in adding himself as a sort of a midfield winger. Interesting. That is a m sort of a mind boggling move. But the action's on this side of the park right now. Again, Joseph Perez. Just maybe, you know, fresh legs, perhaps? Yeah, and Villalobos as well. Villalobos is the forward, so he comes in adding something to the offensive side. But that Perez is going to be at, he's going to be a more, of a, more of a winger out here. And, you know, that Fuerte uh, substitution as a defender, it's the one that's uh, interesting. But we'll see how, how it plays out. They have about 
uh, 30 minutes to go ahead and, and, and make something happen, either tie it or just completely turn it around and go up 3-2. We've, we've seen Villalobos sort of connect with Omar Nuno a few times, haven't we? So why not try something now, obviously. Well rested. Back to action, folks. Again, Simon Allen here next to me, Jose Duran. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick shout-out to the TV Max family, doing a great job broadcasting this. Of course, Cal United strikers are at one, Chattanooga FC at two, so anything could happen. Here comes, here comes Chattanooga. In control right now, passing the ball around. Interesting. Referee's calling a foul. And Gray's like, yeah, how about a yellow? Yeah. <laughs> it's not, you know, never really liked that when you sort of, or, you know, when you sort of uh, uh, audit the the, uh, the referee to pull out a yellow. Never thought that was pretty cool. And I thought, it was just, you know, let, let the referee <laughs> decide on that. Very sort of uh, continental thing, should I say that? Say they that. We, we never did that when <coughs> we were playing. We never said anything. It ref. seems like if they think that, you know, by, by them... Giving them their two cents. Oh, you know yeah. what? I'll, I'll, you're right. Thanks Let for me changing go ahead my mind. Take out, yeah, <laughs> take out the card here. <laughs> Referee's blown, saying, "Hurry up, get 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 on with it." McGrath now has the ball. Chooses to go across the pitch, and that was always going to be dangerous. Now we've got to play it down. Oh, just bounced quite favorably, oh. and referee's calling it back, and it's actually Outside, offside. Though. And they're going to going to cause yeah. a few jeers right now by the bench. Referee Skilly doing a good job so far. Has he pulled out a card yet? I don't believe he has. No. no. So, well, you know, we last right. last broadcast we did, I said that, and then so I better that I better opened up of, the floodgates. Yeah, it really did. So, good action right now. Look at that. Coming all the way back. Again, you can just hear the crowd sort of getting g'd up right now, Jose. Like, okay. Good movement so far. Look at that. Bags of space. Take just taking the ball to his teammate. Gets it back again. And couldn't quite make anything happen, but very well done by the defenders of Cal United. For their efforts though, the Chattanooga FC do get a throw in. They're just gonna take their time. I don't understand um how this this game has sort of gone a little bit more slow. Yeah. And I'm it's affecting even the way I'm sort of talking. <laughs> so it's really strange how it's affecting everyone in the crowd. And uh, Cal United, I expect them to do just to be a lot faster, but okay. Jimmy Rodriguez is going to make his way out, and we see Brett Jones make an appearance. So they're going to bring in a forward, or the, the Chattanooga FC. So interesting to see uh, how he adds into the mix here. But, you know, I guess 28 minutes left in the game, and... That they want to finish it off, yeah, right? Yeah, finish it off. Bring on Jones, have him connect with Gray and, and, and Nagelstad. Have more target up front, I guess. All right? Yeah. You know, Coach Underwood, I think, understands that he had an opportunity to go ahead and close this one out yeah. earlier in the first half. Hasn't done so, but it's still uh, uh, plenty of minutes to go ahead yeah. and just put that final nail in the coffin. And we've seen, but we, on the flip side, we've seen uh, the strikers absolutely score goals. You know, oh. In the final moments of the matches, or was essentially the second part of the second half of matches. So, you know, we'll probably see the Junks put a few attempts on goal if he gets the ball. If Cal and I do get the ball out of their area, which is essentially now. Look at that. Very good so far, but they've got to get it out. And here we go. A little bit of space now for Cal United. Getting the ball. It's intercepted by Ward. Control now goes to Chattanooga. We saw, for example, here Tate on this side of the pitch wanting the ball. He's not going to get it. And here's Thea Jung. We talked about him. He's going to get closed down. Villalobos now has the ball, gets it to his teammate. Here we go. And there's Thea Jung. Can he get it? No. Headed away by Chattanooga, and it was going towards Thea Jung. We've seen him get those balls, bring them down, and, and get an attempt on goal. And now the, the the pace has quickened a little bit, which is what I would love to see more of. Good movement so far. Villalobos to Thierjung. Thierjung just couldn't quite get to it. On the same page, just not reading it 
at the same speed. And look at this. Jean Antoine gets the ball passed back and he slips a little Oof. bit. Very dangerous. Crowd even felt that one, didn't they, Jose? Yeah, it ends up giving a corner, unfortunately, for, for John. He's been solid. I mean, I think the couple of errors that ended up leading up to the two goals for Chattanooga has, has affected the team overall, but they're right there. You know, there's still just yeah, one man. going away. I know you mentioned it not being Coach Ebert, uh, you know, to, to his standards of even getting a tie, but I think at this point, the way they're playing the second best team in the league and, and obviously a couple points ahead of them in the table, oh. so. Nothing to be too 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 mad about, it, uh, uh, especially showing the, the composure the team has uh, if they do come back. I was uh, watching an interview with Sean Dyke, one of the you know a, a very good coach you know in England, and he was like, even when they went to play uh, teams that were a lot better on paper, and we go let's see what happens here first before I say that story. He said he goes, he said that we never went in playing playing for a tie. We never went in playing for a tie, even though it kind of looked like it. So maybe this could be the, the deception that uh, Cal United are doing right now. Yeah. Throw in right now. So far so good though. It's been an entertaining second half. No clear dominant team in the second half though, in my opinion, but here's Cal United coming into the box right now, just being surrounded by Sky blue jerseys booted away. It's nice. Now there's a nice breeze. Probably the mics are picking it up right now. Do you want to say, I do want to do a, a quick shout out to the Burbank High School girls soccer team who are, all of them are watching this particular match. So big shout out to them. Well, a better game to watch than this one. The best oh, of wow. teams. Huh? You know, I think they're going to learn a lot from, you know, both these teams. You see the look at that. You see the crowd really getting into it. Look, well done. Fuerte now has the ball. Excellent stuff so far. Just no breakthrough right now. Again, Chattanooga doesn't really need a breakthrough. They'll be very content to go home at two-one winners. It's, I'm just looking at Cal United. You know. Got the ball to Thea Jung a few times. Omar's looking dangerous, so it could happen. What do you think, Jose? Yeah, no, I think the the. I mean, I've been saying it throughout the second half. They had time, but I mean, it is ticking, and I, we haven't seen a clear opportunity. Uh, we, we can say, oh, you know what, the the kind uh, the strikers are, are are knocking, or they're right there. So in in the next couple of minutes, I mean, they they definitely want to go ahead and start uh, feeding Omar Omar the ball. If, yep. I mean, or Thea they Jung. So. Now there's yeah. two big, well, two targets, two big players that can change a game. So, okay. There's that movement, just not on the same page. That's fine. They're just going to try to make himself a bit of a pest up front. Ball bounced favorably for Cal United. Pace is a little bit more quick than usual. So far, so good. Perez sort of doing very well coming into the match. And here we go. No one's trying to do much. Uh, here we go. There's that. Back and just given away very badly. And you can't give it away to, to Sarah. Sarah's going to do some, you know, some damage if you do that. And here comes the sort of the sky blues. Throw in for Cal United, not taking it quickly or quick enough. Katona just boots it in, looking for Thea Jung, who's going to make those runs. Can he get the ball? So far, so good for the efforts for Cal United. Now they've got the throw in. Cool as you like on a hot day, but just doesn't connect. But how about this? Chest it down. Oh, and, that, and there's that goal, and there it is! Great stuff. Great stuff, and then celebrate. Let's keep on going for more. No, 
What a pro. Just, I mean, just says, listen, it's 2 2. You know, we'll celebrate when it's 3 2. But look at that. Well, just the whole play overall. It starts it off in the way they bring it, chest it down. Turns around. Great ball by Villalobos, and he finds uh, Cardona, who already has an assist out here, assist yeah. and a goal. Uh, ends up being 2-2. And just like that, my friend, that 2-0 lead yep. has evaporated. Yes, you show me up now, Jose. I know what, you, I know what you're thinking. It's a, hey, it's soccer. That's the <laughs> way it is. You know, it's, it's, it's the soccer gods uh, bl blessing us down here in Championship yeah. Stadium today. Fuerte started it and, and sort of a great move by Coach Iba to bring him in. He started that, got, got the ball to his, to his right. Nice sort of a floating ball to uh, Cardono and... It is 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, Cal's back. It's back. And now, let's see if the pace quickens. Let's see who wants this, who wants to win. Coach Ebert looking like an absolute yeah. genius coach for bringing in Fuerte that started this. And again. And Perez. And Perez, which he's on the ball right now. Perez looking so far so good. And look at that. Oh, a little bit of shoulder. And then there's... And there's Good movement so far. Perez now with the ball. Doesn't quite get his mark. Cerro starting it off. And look at that. Bags of space for Gray. Speed by Cal United. They're not on the back foot, but they're certainly running back. And there's it. Oh, just teed it up. Saw his teammate to his right. Certainly a shot there. Oof. Gene. Very well done by Jean Antoine. Very well done. And again, keeping it, the ball in play is Cal United. Certainly not as quick as I'd like it, but they're getting up there. And just as soon as I say something, just mishandled, misfooted. Can't say mishandled in soccer, can we? And here we go. Very, very well done so far. Cal United keeping control. Again. It's just like, uh, you know, sort of playground rules right now. Next goal wins. Yeah. Then, then, we take the, like then we take the ball home and do we live to f fight another day? Bowes with the ball. Bowes now has it. Is it down the middle? He's going to want it back. He's going to get it back. And I'm not sure what's going on here a little bit. Oh, and look at that. Yellow yeah. card. Yellow card for Garcia Lopez. It does not, uh, doesn't give the best passes back to Bowers. He knows that, yeah. and then he just puts his body in there to, to cause a foul right there. Yeah. Yeah. And the referee saw it too, which was, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get past it. McGrath over the ball, and this is gonna be dangerous because you've seen Gray Nagelstadt up there. Oh, chooses to go backwards. Okay. So far, so good. Both teams Oof. entertaining football. Here's Gray with the ball. He's going to... Oh, look at that! John Antoine needs to go ahead and thank his defense because yeah. he went over it just not in the right position. That's a v rare thing to see with John Antoine, and it's not over yet. McGrath trying to get the ball in there somehow, but instead it goes to his teammate. And they're trying to do something, trying to work something there, trying to do something, trying to insist. And at the end of the day, maintain, they maintain possession. Tate now has the ball. Theodore tries to close him down, passes the ball. It's on the right-hand side of the pitch right now. Jones with the ball. He was brought in to do something, not that, not going backwards, that, that's for sure. Stripping with the ball. Stripping with now has the ball. Stripping now has the ball. He's, 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 he's being closed down by Thea Jung. Double teamed. Couldn't get to his teammate. And there it is. It's offside. Oh, offside. Bags up. Do you think that was... Yeah, that was. It was two, two players in, in, in sky blue. Could have kept him onside. That's what we're talking about. I think it was that, was that Ward and Stripling. We won't, a break. we won't see it. We won't see the replay because... You don't want to cause a commotion in the stadium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As we see uh, a break, but 2-2. Two -two. Water break, 2-2. Two -two. 74th minute. 
Oh, we do see a replay. I see. Oh, it's the goal. Look at this goal. Just cool as you like. Kadona yeah, just okay. heads it in. Zalas gets stuck in between. I'm coming out. No, I'm not. I'm coming out. No, I'm not. Yeah. And that sec second of, of uh, indecisiveness causes Chattanooga. Well done. Yeah, and I mean, that's, it is. It, it, it brings the game to sort of an even score. And now look, a little cooler, a little cooler, you know, Coach Ebert, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at the fans. The fans are watching the, the fans are watching, you know, the, the huddle thing. Look, you can see them. What a, gr what a fantastic painting that it, this is. And watching the kids, right? Mm -hmm. They're the most ones acknowledging, observing what's going on there. Yeah. And, and and these kids obviously know that, you know, in the future, hopefully they'll be out here. Look too, at huh? this kid. He's a future star right there, just kicking back and watching everything. Look at that. <laughs> he's got his bandana Papiadores on. Papiadores yeah. out there, yeah. He's got his headband on. He's like, look at that. It's great, right? After possibly it looks like they had a game earlier on today. Yeah. Great Sunday, Labor Day weekend, and then kick back. Let's go to Championship Stadium and watch some great Nisa soccer. The best two teams in the league here, folks. I'm not even watching the team. I'm just watching the fans. Yeah, Diehards coming out. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a guy over there with a shirt on and shorts. He's just like cool as you like too. Just just watching everything, just soaking it all in. Literally, I think he's soaking it all in. Life, yeah. Yeah. soccer, everything. everything. <laughs> the heat. Fantastic. Yeah. I wonder, wonder what he's thinking. I know what the fans are thinking, right? Yeah. Hopefully they come out of here, get another goal, and we get out of here with. Well, with hopefully the, with we'll, w. you know, hopefully they'll, you know, next next match they'll 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 sort of watch this replay, and the next match they'll come and say, "Hey, Simon, this is what I was thinking." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. By the way, you want to know what I was thinking? Oh, it was hopefully it's G-rated. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Mostly it's just where where the ice cold water. Yeah. Where's that? Oh, but it's cooled down, right? Yeah. Simon, it's, it no, feels, I mean, feels it's, great it's, now. It's good now. I think. N I mean, I mean, it's two-two now. So imagine it's if it's so these these players if they can just imagine it's nil-nil and the next goal wins, you know. And I mean that with, with you know the utmost respect. It's like you know it's just like you know the, the playground days when it's like okay, next goal wins. Yeah. We've, we've you know we've played, we've done all we can. We you know we've expended all our energy. We've worked our socks off, and okay, next goal wins and we got to go home. Omar's getting a steak dinner. Yeah, he right? is. Kadona's getting a steak dinner. So uh, we'll see if they're going to get any. Uh, who's going to get a lobster or added a dessert? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Who, yeah whoever, whoever puts it in the back of the net and gets the winning goal, you know, adds a lobster, you know, a little bit of surf and turf and dessert. Yeah, there you go. Getting hungry thinking about this game. <laughs> Frias coming in. Frias. Yeah. He's replacing it well, that's a well. Okay, he's put his he's put his shift in, hasn't he? Yeah, he absolutely has a goal here tonight, an assist, and uh, no more bigger goal than that tie. You know, and by the looks of it, the 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 home team, Cal United, is going to come up with everything to go ahead and try to get the, the three points. Ending on Farias in here, fresh, fresh legs. Yeah, can be a provider to Thea Jung, can be a provider to Omar. So why not bring him in? So far, this chess match between these two coaches has been really f just absolutely fabulous at this point. Uh, Rod Underwood and, and Donnie Ebert doing a great job, absolutely entertaining the neutral at this point. Um, yesterday we were doing a match, and the scoreline, I would say, don't let the scoreline fool you. Um, with John Antoine tries to start it quickly. This one, I don't think the scoreline would fool anyone. 2-2 two -two right now, it's been fantastic. It's been shocking. Um, nothing... No nothing uh, Expected, very unexpected, actually, and uh, and it's the beauty of Nisa soccer is like you know when you go down the list and watch these matches or you, or, or you read the score lines, it's better that you actually watch. And here we go, Oof. just teed up for anyone wearing a black jersey. Didn't quite happen. And is it going to be a corner? It is. Perez going to look over the ball. Perez now no leaves the ball. Who does he leave it to? I wonder. Great stuff from Villalobos. He saw Perez making that. That overlap, but didn't think it was to be the best decision. I think he was, I'm on board with him there. Does his own thing, gets a corner. Trying to get a second assist, this is Villalobos. And, and check this out. There's going to be two target players right now in that box. And they are going to be surrounded. But watch the Jung. When the ball is played, how he gonna, he's going to try to go in. He doesn't. I'm sorry. 
I'm, I can't be the coach and the commentator at this point, but I thought Thien Jung would just go in and try to clean up anything that was going on, but he just remained back. He goes in now. He's going in now. He's going in. All right. Well, so maybe I was ahead of my time. Yeah. <laughs> now he is putting up that, that pressure. He there has to. They have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Cause an error here. Who knows? And here we go. Look at that. That's the pressure we're looking for. There it is. Well done, lads. Well done. Not giving up. The fans love it. And here we go. Oh, intercepted. Can it be a quick counter? It is. Going down the middle right now. Chattanooga's... They're looking. Want to maintain possession. They're trying to ma maintain possession. Going down the middle. Going down the flanks right now. Surely across... John Anton should have that very easy. Keeps the, the ball in. Wow, no, he doesn't keep in the ball. Boy, it's a corner, corner kick. Yeah, that was difficult I would for have, John. I, I would have guessed that he kept, you know, again, all the ball has to be behind the line. But I'm just going to swan he kept it in. But the referee had a better sort of view going that way. Of course, I had a, I have the luxury of seeing it live and on a TV at the same time. Right now, corner kick. Four. Look, look good for United. I feel like they're yeah. coming. Our the Chattanooga. McGrath looking over the ball. You see the assistant referee making sure everything's okay. He raises his hand. A bit static for me, but here we go. There's the movement. Oh, and John Antoine just does what he needs to do and just counts on his teammates to boot it away. Not out of danger yet, folks. Here comes Chattanooga. They're moving forward. And again, it's just two on one look at this draws the foul in a dangerous area outside the box that was not necessary was it no yeah, it definitely was not and gray was backing away you know he was his, his back was towards the goal he was just sort of made look see oh no he, he had turned my apologies my apologies to gray and no he was he and he's been busy tonight gray he he's been he? yeah. completely busy being up and down the flank uh, shows obviously we see here now body language seems exhausted but yeah. nine more minutes and you know they, they either get out here with a yeah. tie or they surprise everyone here with a dead ball free kick and Nag get the three points Nagel Stad over the ball and he's looking for a, just a tall player you see Gray walking in there and I'd be I'd I'd put dollars to donuts he's going to be a target Chua. shocking shocking oh, this, this John game got a I, tip on that one yeah I mean, uh, and oh. again, we're waiting for some a floating ball to go into that little area of you know, of of sky blue shirts. Instead, it's a it's a it's a shot on target or close to one. Jean Antoine comes up Great trumps, stuff. and again, not out of danger yet, Jose. And there's an absolute. It's going to be a very. very well, I hope it's not going to be a short corner. Because I think a few corners peppered into the box right now. And here we go. McGrath over the ball. It could be short. It could be short. McGrath over the ball. And there he goes. Just not the best of corners. In hindsight, being 2020, I would have said get it to Sarah. But here's the oh. He gets fouled. Oh. Referee referee's not ball. calling it. And just. It's. Now he's calling something. He's asking the ball to stop. I don't ever want to stop. And he's sort of shrugging. I'm not sure what he's saying, but he's done a good job so far. Interesting sequence. <laughs> very, very weird. Yeah. I mean, I would have stopped. I would have stopped the ball when Thie Jung went down because he looked yeah. a bit, it looked a bit iffy. Um, and now the refs just sort of saying, "Oh, it's a drop ball." Okay. Uh, we got the, we got the crowd sort of uh, scouring to find their their. Their laws of the game to see what's going on. It's a drop ball. I don't get it, but okay. And just give him back. Yeah, just, okay. All right. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually 100% sure the ref knows more about the laws of the game than I do. <laughs> so here we go. Back to action. Cal United in control right now. They want to maintain possession. They're doing it right now. Down the middle. So far, so good. Villalobos with the ball gets it to Thea Jung. Thea Jung has to cross it in there, and it's a bit deceptive thinking it was going towards the goal. But it, again, control for 
And again, very, very well done by, and yeah. <laughs> very, very well done by the Sky Blues. And, and then a bit of a shirt tug. A bit of a shirt tug, I should say. You can see it right over here. Oh, we're seeing this. Look at this Perez in there. And the shirt tug right about now goes down. A bit too easy for my liking, but draws the foul. Is it substitution coming in? Cero's coming off. He's absolutely spent. Yeah, goal here tonight for Cero and uh, a good showing for, for, for the number seven. And as you see, Christian Bermudez make his way into this one. Five minutes left, and it's one of those games that, you know, obviously the players are in there exhausted. They kind of want it to say, but we, I don't want Dehydrated it to say. Dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I, would try to, uh, I would try to stay as long as I could in this match because I think you're going to – if someone does score a goal, you would rue that day like, of you coming off and not being part of it or not being able to prevent it. Reminds me of a few stories of my playing days, you know, much lower league, obviously, uh, where it was such a hot day, but I just wanted to be on yeah. because, you know, I didn't want me being off the pitch to be the reason we'd lost. We'll save that story for another time, Jose, because it's... the. the dying moments of the match we're in the 86th minute it's 2-2 it's getting a little bit cooler just to remind everyone Cal United 2 coming back to tie it up against Chattanooga FC 2 here in beautiful Southern California in Irvine Championship Stadium again Simon Allen next to me El Lobo Jose Duran and we see a little bit of talking going on Assistant coaches are just talking. Fantastic stuff, fantastic stuff. But again, no one's moving at a fast rate for the, for the throw-in. And here we go. Oh, back to your Antoine. He's got to boot it away. Oh! Not out of danger yet. And again, that on a on a on a on a weirder day, that would have gone into the back of the net, wouldn't it have been? If you know, so Chattanooga in control right now. Cal United desperately looking for something, to, and there it is. There's that break they're looking for. We've got to be a little bit quicker. Bags of space. Players in front of him. Oh, very weird foul right there. Very weird foul. Absolutely card worthy. And there it is. Yeah, and he knew exactly what he was doing. It was a breakaway. And one pass, and it would have, you know, who knows what would have happened, but it wouldn't have been positive for him. And there's that foul. Yep. McGrath goes in the books, yellow card, and, yeah. you know, three minutes left plus whatever yeah. the referee wants to add on here. Yep. Bo is now over the ball. Oh, very quick. But he's going to have to get that, that cross in right about now. He doesn't. It's one-on-one. -on -one. He gets that cross. It's not happening. Certainly something's going to happen now. There you go. Here's a player that we're looking for. Back again. It's in the box. Oh, oh very nicely turned. And take the shot. And just doesn't connect properly with it. Gonzalez quick to just boot it out. Make sure that action is happening on the other side of the pitch. And... Fortunately for Cal United, they are in control. Given away in the middle of the park. Slide tackle. Oof. Referees just Oof. right in front of that. And this is the captain. Yeah, it seems like there was no ill intent there, right? But it's still the it studs up, though. It was just slow, right? yeah, wasn't slow. it? It was just slow. Like, why are you reacting that, that slowly? I know it's hot. I know you've been playing the whole... Look, look. And... Look, and then suddenly, I was like, hmm. Yeah, and then. Uh, it was studs up, wasn't it? Yeah, Richard uh, knows what he's doing, right? Dixon exactly, uh, as a captain, knows exactly what, what what's going on. But he, he knows that the slide's going to grant him possibly a yellow. But it, let me play it out here it's I mean, as much as it can. Yeah. And it does it. Look at that. No card. No card. Wow, that is shocking. No card. But again, just, uh, just, look, just look like 
uncharacteristic of Nixon. Yeah. Because he's been fast. He's been, you know, very quick to make his decisions. And that was just a, just a slow tackle with studs up. Okay. Referee is taking into consideration the heat and the time. Here's some movement right now. Thea Jung could be a hero if he connects with that ball and scores. Sky Blues right now just absolutely content to hold it. They're not passing it. And it's not that they're so content. It's just that they're looking for someone with a little bit of space behind them. And they found him. Here's the player. And there you go. Nice through ball. A lot of black shirts in the box right now. He's going to have to go through at least one of them. Takes the shot. Ricochets off Cal United. He's not giving up. Here we go. And Cal United happy and content in the cooling moments of the 90th minute. So let that ball go out to touch and start again. And here's that, here's that movement. Here's an attack. And here's Thea Jung. Oh, and mm. Sly tackled away. Thea Jung was waiting for the ball to get to him rather than him going to the ball. And wow, does Thea Jung want to be a hero right now and score the winning goal. Here we go. Good passing right now from Cal United. They're looking for something to happen. They found a player with bags of space. And there's the shots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the winning goal, wasn't it? Uh. That was the winning goal. Just amazing. Dying moments of regulation. I'm not sure who that last player was in, the, in that end, but I wonder if he was onside to probably just... You know, get any type of flick on there, just misdirect the ball towards goal. And that ball was a, a laser to his foot, wasn't it? Five minutes. Wow. Five minutes added to this. So, again, some heroics can happen, folks. I know you're on the edge of your seat right now. It's hot over here. There's a little bit of a breeze coming through. The breeze is really a little bit cooler than it was about 20 minutes ago. The players are feeling it. They might get a burst of energy, a sort of a second wind, so to speak. And here we go. Good movement. Bags of space. Lots of black shirts in the box. Something's going to happen. There it is again. And oof. well done. Well done. And that again, you have to give props to Omar Nuno, who's at the right place at the right time. The ball, again, a, an absolute 747 to his head. Had just had to flick it in there. Went over. Now, granted, people will say Gonzalez had it covered. But again, a lot of credit to be given for the stick to of Cal United. And by the way, that stick to you know, full credit to Coach Don Ebert for essentially saying the right things during the second half to get them square at 2-2. They could go ahead and escape with 3-2 here. I know, I know. I and, just, then, and, I, and I absolutely want that to happen just so you can say, I told you so, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beautiful game, right? It, it really is. It really is. You know, one second, they had, Chattanooga had an opportunity to make it 3-0, no, and now look at us. Three, and can two, you imagine this, like, the, the talking points that they were 2-0 down and they came back and won, yeah. you know? And that's what makes the, you know, that just makes that, more, that much more beautiful, to be honest with you. Referees calling something, and it just, I just didn't see that. There's not much in that, I should say. Not that I didn't see it. There's not much in yeah. it. Yeah. Again, we're sort of, we're, you can hear it. The crowd is just, it is about two or three people just urging every player on and the rest of them are just sort of like now in that sort of zone where it's just very comfortable that something magical will absolutely turn everyone on their ear right now it just depends on which team yeah. is going to take control Chattanooga now trying to bypass the midfield they can't they have to play through the midfield they have to play passing again there it is something's happening player to his left they Gives it away. Boots it out. Cal United now have to keep control. They don't. Here's a little bit of danger happening right now. We've seen this before. Surely a cross. Or is it a pass? It's a cross. Back to Chattanooga. Took too long. Took way yeah. too long. Took way too long on that one. Okay, so far so good. Bermudez now is holding it far too long for his teammates. Martinez now has the ball. 
Oh, just given away. And here comes Cal United. Surely something's going to happen. Martinez has to do something better. He's going to have to try to tackle that. But again, here comes Omar Nuno. Ooh. He draws the foul. He doesn't get it. For his efforts, though, he's getting a throw in. Everyone's urging the team to go forward. We're talking about Cal United going forward, making something happen, possibly just throwing everything at Chattanooga, including the kitchen sink, if they have it. Yeah, minute. Let's if go. Here we go. Fuerte with the ball. Is it going to be a long one? It is. As close to the box as possible, looking for Omar Nuno. Foul says the referee against Foul. Nuno. Nuno gets a f Yeah. He was backing into the players, but again, 30 seconds left. Referees, obviously, it's his time to call. It's a take coming off. He's had, he's put a he's put a def. I'm sorry, Taylor Gray. He's put he's also put a great yeah. shift in. Uh, not sure if he couldn't play another few moments to say the you know. But there you go. There. Oh. Again, I'm just trying to keep my eye on certain players to see what they're doing. That's a foul. Cal United now just want to get that ball straight into the other side of the pitch. Just as bomb it over there. Has to be the last game chance, right? Ha they, ha they have to throw everything. They've got to just literally just get the ball over there, do sort of a Hail Mary last ditch kind of thing to, to, to win. Kudos to them for a 2-2 to coming back. But none of these lads want to do this. They want to go ahead and win 3-2 at home. And here we go. Bags of space. A lot of lead-footed players right now. They're tired. Omar Nuno gives it back to his teammate. He goes back into the box, waiting for something to happen. And there's something happening right now. They got to cross it. Fans are urging them, cross the ball, cross it into the box. It's in the, it's crossing it, the slide tackle. That's it. And the referee calls time on this. What an amazing match, folks. My name is Simon Allen, the Dalai Lama of soccer. Next to me, Jose El Lobo Duran here in Championship Stadium. The score, you can see it. The match ends.